Welcome to the third draft analysis of the APA season seven. Um, I'm back with Mel, my lovely girlfriend. We had so much fun doing it last time. T completely ripping off the idea from Sally Mumble, shamelessly, uh, I'm not gonna lie, but we just had a good time. And, I had fun. And uh, I don't know if anyone cares about my opinions. Um, I think the people do care. Okay. I think I think you provide a fresh per, uh, perspective. <laughs> <laughs> I provide a perspective. That's yeah, that's for sure. It's a perspective. Yeah. So um, yeah, same thing as last time. If you caught my last one, we're just gonna go over my mom's pick by pick. Mel knows little to nothing about Pokemon. She knows a bit about the Generation so One. Yeah. She does. She doesn't. <laughs> She knows about some of the mods I've drafted before. A lot of these mods I've never drafted, so she might not know. Remember last draft analysis when I said Tapu Koko was obviously trash, and then mm -hmm. for three straight games, Tapu Koko was trash? Just because it had a bad matchup doesn't mean it was trash. It actually was- Three straight games Pivotal. It was very important in two of the games. Okay. In one of the games, I didn't bring it. And then in the fourth game, it was my MVP. So, all in all, good mod. <laughs> but, yeah, Mel didn't like Tapu Koko, mostly for aesthetic reasons, I think, so. Um, it just seemed like a waste of 17 points. Right, and unfortunately, um, I don't have the graphics ready in time. I'm going to superimpose this video onto the graphics. So I don't have the point values ready on the screen for Mel here. But, but I you could, know what they are. I could I could guess what they are. How about I guess what the point value of each Pokemon is? Okay. Okay. Sure. <laughs> you can <laughs> let me know later when the video comes out. Okay, sounds good. Okay. Um, so well, this is your third team. Yeah. Do you feel like this team is better than your last two teams? Like, where would you say it ranks? Um, it's hard to say without having used it. Um, the first team I was very average, went two and two, plus zero. Team two, I went four and oh. I haven't used this team yet as of recording. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. I, I think it's good. I don't know how it's going to compare to team two. Okay. I think it uh, could possibly be better though, to be honest. Wow. Yeah. I'll let you know. Okay. <laughs> Okay, we should get into it. So, we're gonna be looking over here a lot, you know, just because that's how the monitor is situated. Please understand. Um, first mon is Tapu Lele. Another is Tapu. fucking Tapu Coco's cousin? But pretty much, yeah. Stepsister, guys. <laughs> Stepsister, no. <laughs> Stepbrother, what are you doing? Um, <laughs> yeah, this, so... The Tapu is all they have. They have special, they set a terrain when they enter the field. She looks like a sexy ant, like busting out of some sort of egg. Kind of like a woman, like, popping out of a cake. Sure, yeah. Um, she's part of, like, the group of Pokemon that, like, look kind of too sexy to be a Pokemon. And I take offense to that. Okay. <laughs> As a woman. It's weird. <laughs> I don't like it. Okay, good to know. Yeah. Pokemon don't need to be sexy. Well, what part of it is sexy other than that it's like feminine? Are you joking? No. She's like busting out of the egg being like, ooh, me? <laughs> like Marilyn Monroe or something? Yeah, it's barely like, yeah. Yeah, I guess I hadn't thought about it like that. With like the curly hair and the big eyes, it's just, it's freaky. Okay. Not a fan. I'm gonna not guess, no, not a fan. Um, I've heard you mention Tapu Lele like a few times in the last couple weeks. Good, I, I played against one a couple weeks ago. Yeah. I mean, I guess this is worth 16 points. I feel like Tapus as a family are probably pretty good mons. That's a, an astute observation. Tapu Lele is probably the second best Tapu of the After. four. After Coco. Coco, see? Um, Which is too sexy. They play very differently, though, from each other. 
yeah, she's, you know, pretty sexy, I guess, if that's what you're into. Um, <laughs> not, not into it. Yeah, I'd say 16. What did you say, 16? 16. Max being 18, keep that in mind. Coco was 17, I think. Coco was 17. Um, so either 15 or 16. I think you're actually probably right. It was either 16 or 15. So, you know, good guess. Next mon is Heatran. Is this a rock type? This is a steel and fire type. I didn't know we had steel types. We do have steel types. Who's another steel type? Steelix. <laughs> Believe it or not. Oh, okay. Um, you, yeah. Generation 1 didn't have the steel type, although Magnemite and family Magneton became steel type retroactively. Were they originally electricity? Just a, They were just electric, then they became electric steel. Okay. He kind of reminds me of Cubone. Cubone? Cubone. Cubone in the face. Cubone in the face. Really, let's bring up a, p a picture of Cubone here. Just for my own sake. Cubone in the face. See? Okay. Cubone is just like a cuter, unevolved version. I can kind of see what you're saying. But, uh. They have the same rock like face. Cubone is not a rock type, unfortunately. Ground type. Okay, well, do you see where I'm coming from? Yeah, kinda, yeah. Uh, I feel like Heatran's pretty good. I feel like he's a solid Pokemon. Oh, uh, solid? Uh, no, like a solid addition to your team. Um, I would say he's worth maybe like 13, 14 points. I think he might end up being like the backbone of your team, actually. You're probably not far off on that, yeah. The, it pairs really well with Tapu Lele, okay. which is why I got it. But just typing-wise, there. It's a, it's a beautiful pairing. Um, he trends amazing, yeah. I'd say you're probably correct, 13, 14. He's probably like 14 points. Okay. Maybe 15, even. Wow, really? Yeah. I think he's maybe one tier lower than Tapu Lele. Yeah, solid Pokemon. Next we have Melodic. What is this? This is like the um, uh, counterpart to Gyarados. You know Gyarados? I've heard of Gyarados. Yeah, it's sort of like the um, feminine version. Again, it's too sexy to be a Pokemon. It's not sexy. What? <laughs> it's like an inherent... Why are you giggling nervously? It's like an inherently sexy Pokemon. I don't know what... Your definition of sexy is, but just because it's like feminine doesn't mean it's got sex appeal. Back me up, guys. <laughs> you know? It's like trying to be hot. Is it? Yes. Mm. Yes. I don't know. I mean, if I were to look up melodic porn, I'd probably find some. A thousand percent you would. Yeah, so maybe you're right. <laughs> There's probably a lot of Tabu Lele porn, come to think of it. Why, Dan? Because <laughs> it's sexy. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> um, Melodic, sorry. Um, this is a Pokemon that's trying too hard, wants to be a mermaid. Mm -hmm. <sighs> what kind of Pokemon is it? Just water type. Okay, it doesn't have any arms. No. Yeah, it's so true. It's essentially just like a, a fish. It's like a weird like snake kind of thing. I don't love to look at it, but... Okay. Some... I also feel like it's not a super powerful Pokemon. You'd be correct. It's uh, more... Like a 12? More defensive leaning. 12 is probably correct. You're probably at least one or two tears off of all these picks. Yeah, you can tell a lot by how they look. I think so, eh? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Next we have Mian Chao. Can you explain its arms to me? No. <laughs> does it have hands under the flappy bits? It does, yeah. Why, you ask? 
Couldn't tell you. Do the floppy bits have bones or like? I think they're like actually flappy. I would think. Based on the way it moves in, uh, oh, we're scrolling down. We're already seeing me on child porn. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> we're looking it's at these It's kind of a on. sexy Pokemon too. It's got the eyes for it, for sure. It does have like the almond shaped, like bedroom eyes. Bedroom eyes, yeah. Okay. Unnecessarily so. I do think of this Mon as like a male, but. Um, Male Pokemon can be sexy. That's true. But it does have weirdly long sleeves for arms. Mm-hmm. I'd like to know more about that. We're gonna consult Bulbapedia after this. Yeah, I need like a full... See what's... I need to see his arms in motion. Okay. Uh, I also don't necessarily think this is like a super powerful Mon. Maybe like a little bit better than Melodic. Maybe like an 11... 12, 13, maybe 12, 13. Do you have a copy of the tier list or? No, am I right? <laughs> You're probably right, yeah. I don't know the exact values off the top of my head. But yeah, it's probably a little bit more than melodic, if not like the same range. You can tell because he has arms and melodic doesn't. That's, that's a big part of it. Also, part. you can generally assume as my picks get later, the mons get weaker, but that's not always that's true. That's not always true. That's not always true. Because I got Azelf super late, you may remember. I love Azelf. In the last draft. It's one of my last picks. Next, we have Salamence. See, this is an example of a mon I think would be worth a couple extra points. Okay. Like maybe 13. Probably not 14. Um, Salamence was probably 14 or 15. Okay. It was higher than the last two. Okay. Yeah. And you can tell that because it has four legs. Having limbs is very important. Limbs is important <laughs> to your overall score. And wings. And a tail. You know what's funny? There's a mega version of Salamence, and he kind of loses his limbs. And yet he's more powerful. Look, he, he loses his arms, as you can see here. Well, no, he just like tucks them in, I guess. Which is weird. Yeah, that is weird. Um, anyway, we're not talking about Mega Salamence. We're talking Salamence. Yeah, he's the uh, pseudo legendary, you could call him. Why? Um, every generation, there's mons that they make, that they give like legendary stats to that aren't officially legendaries. Okay. He's one of them. Like Dragonite, mm. Generation 1. I know Dragonite. Yeah. Um. Again, he seems like he'd be like a pretty strong contender on your team. He's gonna be good, I think. He's not sexy. No, for once. For once. It's the first non-sexy mod. Oh, I guess Heatran was not very sexy. Yeah. Yeah. Only has four teeth. <laughs> That's true. Maybe he's got a few more under the flaps, under his lips. You know what I'm saying? Those are just the uh, the chompers. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Next we have Snorlax. Uh, I love Snorlax. It's great to hear. It's an OG Pokemon. It is one of the mascots of the franchise, honestly. Uh, it's tough to say how many points Snorlax would be worth. Um, I feel like you can throw in a couple extra points just because Snorlax is kind of like an OG. Mm. Um, and he's got like the nostalgic vibe. Plus, like I feel like Snorlax would like be pretty good. Nostalgia vibe does not factor in. This is a hyper competitive league. Um. <laughs> is he a psychic Pokemon? No, he's just normal type. What? There's a normal type. What yeah. does that mean? He's just no. He's just normal. He's he's not any kind of element or normal type. <laughs> Do you think in the Pokemon universe they eat Snorlax? I think Snorlax eats you in the Pokemon universe. He's that's his thing, he's nonstop eating. What is he eating though? Other Pokemon or is he eating like is he veg? I think he's like veg, but I wouldn't be surprised if he's an omnivore. He's got those sharp teeth up front. Yeah, you wouldn't have that if you were just eating veg all day. Do Pokemon eat other Pokemon? They don't explicitly like say that. But You'd think so, right? They, eat other Pokemon, don't they, they definitely do. Starlax is 
Thing is, Starlax is pretty slow. It probably would have a hard time hunting. So I don't know how it, how it would work. Why did you put Snorlax on your team? Snorlax is, um, as a normal type, it has an immunity to Ghost. And Ghost is one of the best attacking types um, in Pokemon. So you want to have a nice defensive normal type. Plus, his ability makes him resist ice and fire. But mostly I was looking for another ice resist. So, Snorlax seemed like a perfect fit. Snorlax is cute in like a very roly-poly way. Again, not mm -hmm. a sexy Pokemon, which nope. I can appreciate. Um, I feel like Snorlax is maybe worth 10 points. I think that's like exactly what it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, Drapion. This is a weird looking Mon. Yeah. This one is like a kind of scorpion based. It's like a it's like a water scorpion. Uh like what's that coming out of its mouth? It looks like gills. Not gills, you know what I mean. Fish stuff. Gills? They're not gills. Fish stuff? <laughs> <laughs> I know you're gonna play me music again. <laughs> you show this video. Maybe just cut this part out. Um uh, it's not water type, it is both poison and dark type. So what's coming out of its mouth? We'll have to consult Bulbapedia on that one, unfortunately. So you don't know, it could be fish stuff. Well, I would put money on it saying <laughs> that it's not fish stuff. <laughs> There's probably no mention of fish stuff, but uh... There was no mention of Corvic Knight being called Corvic Knight, so... That's true, and now it's the new meta. Everybody's saying it. <laughs> I've heard people calling it Corvic Knight since our video, so... If you're not calling it Corvic Knight, <laughs> then who the fuck are you? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Uh, fuck. Okay, Drapion. Um, uh, more powerful than Snorlax, for sure. Has... You don't think... Like, le an 11? Uh, it's probably the same as Snorlax, to be honest. I bet you it's one point higher than Snorlax. Wow. We can settle this right now. Okay. Alright. Pull it up. I think they're the same. I mostly know this because they were... Our Drapion was a... Actually, no, I guess I picked them both around the same time. Uh, Alright. Where we go? How are you doing in this league? Like, you're doing well? Um... As this has come out, I have played all of my games. Yeah, I'm in first currently. Oh, wow. Congrats. Thank you. Um, I don't know what I'm looking at. Uh, 10 points for Drapion. Snorlax is hard to find. Oh, Snorlax is 12. Wow, really? Mm -hmm. I take it back. Wow. That's unexpected. See, I told you, Snorlax got extra nostalgia points. You might have been right on that, actually, mm -hmm. yeah. A little couple extra points there. Uh, I don't feel any particular way about Drapion, I just want to know what's coming out of his mouth. Okay, again, Bulbapedia, we'll check it out. Maybe I'll flash a uh, thing on the screen here at this point, uh, uh, describing his, his face. Next we have Sil Valley. Silvalli. This, like, this looks like some sort of like Trojan horse-esque Pokemon. Hmm. Like the, um, like a computer virus? Or do you mean like the No, I mean like the OG <laughs> Trojan horse. What do you mean? Uh, no, like the OG Trojan horse. I know. It's funny you say that though, because this Mon's whole bit is you like stick a DVD in its brain and then it becomes whatever type you want. I honestly can't tell if you're fucking with me right now. Surprisingly, I'm not. Um, I always, I had this mon in a league I was in a while back, and I always named it after Windows, like Windows 98, Windows 95. Okay, hang on. So we. So it's funny you say it's like a Trojan. You put a what and where? <laughs> you yeah. You take a DVD. <laughs> you open Is up its brain. Is it actually brain. a DVD <laughs> in the game? 
Uh, that's what it looks like, yeah. It looks like a disc. It's okay, a disc. Okay, so you put a disc, how do you put it in its brain? Well, you don't, you, I don't know. At this point, I'm just like theorizing. But where are you putting the disc? It's gotta be in its brain, right? Unless it has like a slot somewhere. What? Around its ass or something, I don't know. You put a disc into it somehow. Where do you get the disc from? Like when you catch the Pokemon, does it come with like a free like trial disc? <laughs> it's like a... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, in the context of Draft League, I don't need to acquire any discs. I just have access to them all. Are the discs used for literally anything else in the game? No, just for sticking in in into its brain. Uh, do you want, do you want to have a guess on? So keep in mind, this mon's niche is that it can be any type in the game. Oh, lots of points. Sixteen. Actually, not quite. Fifteen. It's probably like twelve. Really? That seems low. Because it could be anything. It could be a tapu coco for you. It could be a tapu coco. Thing is, it's limited by you know, its move pool, which is pretty good, and uh, its stats. Those never change. Oh. It's just the typing can change. But the stats aren't bad either. Anyway, it's like a good, like, blue Pokemon. If there's something you kind of need in a draft, or in like a matchup, yeah. so Valley can probably be whatever you want it to be. Greymon! Next, Sceptile. My green Pokemon. I know I made margaritas uh, in honor of your one green Pokemon. Yeah. She came up and said, do you have a green Pokemon? I made margaritas. And I said, uh, yes, actually. Uh, I didn't get to see him, though. And now that I'm seeing him, he is freakish. Oh, you don't like him? I think he looks pretty cool. There was something really off-putting. I think it's <laughs> his it's, expression. He does have a bit of a weird smirk going on. Yeah, he does have a weird smirk. Like, yeah. he's about to, like, cozy up to you at the bar and tell you about crypto. <laughs> <laughs> It's pretty good. Pretty accurate, honestly. Can he use his tail, like, effectively? Um, the mega version of it uses its tail offensively, yeah. It, like, shoots off like a torpedo or Ooh, something. What are the freaky balls on its back? I don't know what those are all about. Um, maybe they're, like, uh, where he stores his sugars, you know? It's like a plant. It's got some sugar sacks. <laughs> hey, what do you think of Septile here? Point I don't like to look at him. He makes me uncomfortable physically. Okay. Um, but I feel like he's a fairly powerful mon. Maybe like a 14? I believe Septile was five points. What? Yeah. Why would you choose a five point Pokemon? I... I have budget constraints, first of all. I can't just choose 14 pointers all day. Um, but. Why yeah. only five points? Um, because it has bad typing and uh, it's very fast, but it doesn't hit very hard. So, the thing is though, it can be, it can perform like a mon that's worth more than five points. If you pair it with a mon that has, um, that sets terrain, like Tapu Lele. I don't know what you just told me, but, <laughs> um, I don't really like him. Okay. Again, he just seems creepy. That's, uh, understandable. Next, Jolteon. No! Oh! Jolteon's an OG mon. OG mon. Super cute. Kind of reminds me of our cat, Beverly. Oh yeah, kind of. Just in like the expression and the pose. Yeah. Little princess. Yeah, little princess who's like too good for everyone else. Um, super cute. Again, I feel like Jolteon probably gets an extra couple points for being like an OG Mon for the nostalgia value. Maybe also like a 12. I think Jolteon was about five points as well. What the fuck? Really? <laughs> yeah. Why? Uh, very limited move pool, basically. Oh. Yeah. See, I don't have any, like, in-depth knowledge about their moves. Mm-hmm. I know. I purely have to guess based on how many arms and legs they have. Yeah, the standard amount, but sometimes it's not enough. 
Although Guzzlord had like five arms, and it was only worth about five points too. That's because Guzzlord is disgusting. Hmm, that's true. But uh, it did I like Jolteon, and I feel like Jolteon is worth more than five points. I would say okay. Jolteon is an underrated mod. What do you think it should be worth? Ten. Okay. I think Jolteon is going to end up being like a pretty good mod for you this season. Okay. I'll let them know to change it to ten for uh, next season. <laughs> You do you. I'm just saying, Jolteon, <laughs> underrated. Yeah, it could be good for me. I mostly wanted it for its speed. It's very fast. Like our cat, Bev? That's right, Bev is fast. <laughs> Lastly, we have uh, Runarigus. I don't know what I'm looking at. Yeah, if this is a ghost uh, ground type, which when all its pieces are together, it looks like a coffin. What? That's right. Coffin. Why are there no photos of it in coffin mode? Let's look up some coffin pics. Here we go. Here's one. I wouldn't say that looks like a coffin. All right. How about this one? That's a coffin for sure. Have you ever seen a coffin? Yes. <laughs> yes, I have. This is definitely supposed to be a coffin. Or like a, um, you know... Like a tomb, is that the word? Where like a mummy would uh, sleep. <laughs> a crypt? I don't know, guys. Bulbapedia, okay? <laughs> uh, I get what it's going for. It's obviously in the shape of a rock with like urns and... Uh, yep. What's the snake Pokemon that I'm thinking of? Snake Pokemon. It's purple. It's like purple and yellow. It's like an OG Mon. Arbok? I don't think so. It's probably Arbok. I don't think it's Arbok. Uh, is it Arbok? It's Arbok. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Careful. Um. Uh, it kind of has an Arbok shape on it when it's all together. That's true. It could be like Mega Arbok for all we know. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. I'll give you that. Um, I feel weird about this Pokemon. On one hand, it's like the least sexy Pokemon you have on your team. Mm -hmm. um, it's not super pleasant to look at. No. And to be honest, I'm confused by it and I can't tell how many points it's worth. So like maybe like eight points. I think this one was like five or six. Yeah, something like that. What does it do? Well, it's got two key typings that I needed on my team. Oh my god, did you read the origins from the Pokedex? Never touch its shadow-like body or you'll be shown the horrific memories behind the picture carved into it. That's fucking weird. Oh wow, where did you see that? Oh, this one? Yeah. Wow. I don't like that. Yeah, it's not sexy at all. Zero sex appeal here. It's creepy. <laughs> Is that your team? That's the full team. I don't love your team, sorry. I didn't think you would. My last team was a lot more aesthetic. This team, I think, lacks like flow. Um, I'll have to see them in action, but mm -hmm. it's a weird vibe. Okay. Like, do you put this team together on purpose? Each pick I made was... Not an accident, yeah. I'm really interested in seeing how this team works out for you in your first game. Okay. When's your next game? Um, it'll be next week at some point. I play Grandmaster D-Ray, one of the commissioners Is he good? of the league. Yeah, yeah, he's good. Yeah, so stay tuned for that match. Um, yeah, and to see how I do with team number three. And, uh, friggin', like, thanks for watching, you know? Thank you, Mel, for... I don't know why you have me back time after time. Well, you're charismatic. I don't think that's true. Yeah, well, you're and too... I have nothing to, uh... You're too modest. <laughs> um, alright, that's all. Thanks for watching, guys. And, uh, catch me next week. I play D-Ray.